up y'all, it's your boy Gloopy1, I'm back with your daily wizarding wisdom and PvP perfection. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. With the coming out of the new Forge Masters boots, Nova's not only viable, it's actually really good in certain scenarios. I know that a lot of people don't have the gear for Nova, they don't know what gear they want to do for Nova, they don't even know how to do Nova, so that's what this video and maybe another video following after will be completely about. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what gear and what deck setup you will need to absolutely destroy on the Nova. So we're going to start off with the deck. Deck's very standard, just the Duelist deck. If you don't have the Duelist deck, you could also rock the Darkmoor deck, but I would really push you to get that Duelist deck because that block is extremely crucial here. For the mount, I use Stompy Bronto, but that's because I have a Frillazor. If you don't have a Frillazor or if you want a different pet for Nova, you can always rock a stat mount like Accuracy, Pierce, Damage, whatever you want. As for the stats on the pet itself, I believe this is the second best Nova pet you could possibly get. The best will be these exact stats, except instead of Ice Sword, you need to put in Foul. And I know that Auras have a lower cast rate, but with how many triggers Nova has, it goes off almost every time while you're in Nova. For the ring, you need to go Aphrodite Ring. It's just by far the best Nova ring. You get this from the gold key boss in the first area of the last part of Dark Moor. As far as the amulet, I'm going Traveling Dead's Charm for the pierce because this pierce that it gives is absolutely insane with Nova. You get this from the Shane Von Shane in the upper halls. Only the Shane Von Shane in the upper halls drops this, so I would really push you to farm for this. For the Athame, we're rocking the Aethem of the Dark Usurper. This is what really pulls everything together because this gives you pip chance, it gives you accuracy, it gives you a little bit of block, it gives you that damage, it also gives you heal boost if you need to heal, and it gives you that triangle slot so you can put the Shadow Blade. And you might be wondering, Gloopy, why wouldn't you rock a block of Thame? Like, you know, Duelist or even Dragoon or something. I'll show you why, just chill out for the wand we're going fortune teller's peerless eye this is by far the best nova wand in my opinion right now because it gives the crit it gives the block it gives the pierce and it gives the damage and it also gives an insane make cast that does well over a thousand damage uh with the dark nova because of your universal stats this is from the Terra's horde pack and it's only during halloween for the boots of course using the brand new forge masters boots they're just the best boots you, you gotta get them or i'll show you some alternatives in a little bit the robe rocking motors overcoat I believe it's either the best or one of the best robes that you can use for Dark Nova right now. There's a few that I haven't been able to get. I will show you them when I go over the alternatives for the gear. This is from the brand new Marleybone Motorist pack. The hat, not gonna lie, hat's a little bit pay to win. It's the Arcane Smith's cap. It's from the Arcane Builders bundle. It is a retired bundle that also costs $40. If you don't have it, I completely understand. An alternative to this would be an Aztecas or Warhelm but that's also from a retired $40 bundle pack. If you don't have either of these, you need to go for Mask of Exalted, and most likely you will play Hybrid Nova. And in my next video detailing how to play Nova, I'll actually tell you how to do Hybrid Nova and the best way to go about it. Alternatives for the Motorist Overcoat, I believe the best is the Ancient Persian Armor. I don't have that. I've spent so many crowns trying to get that. You can also use the Azteca Sword War Shell if you have it, but you will lose power pip, you will lose blocks, so you have to make up for it in other ways. So that's why I think Motors is by far the best robe you could do right now for Nova. I know the boots are a little bit pay to win, so some alternatives to that is another pay to win boot, the Azteca Sword War Boots. These are what I believe to be the best alternatives for it because it gives you the pierce and it gives you a little bit more health. But of course, if you don't have these, you can always rock the Silent Knight Snow Boots. The stats they give are insane. The accuracy is really good. It does give you damage. It does give you shad chance. It's just the Forge Masters are a little bit better. Alternatives to the wand, it's really iffy because this wand is just so good that any alternative is just worse. Alternatives will include the Tree Minder Sickle and Shield, any variant of it. And if you wanted to, you could even rock the Executive Hazmat Meter. The problem with that is that you actually lose the block on the Peerless Eye, which is the whole reason for rocking it. So instead of being able to rock Aethem of the Dark Usurper, you have to rock something like Duelist of Thame or Universal Uber if you can get it. If you're rocking a block wand and a robe that already covers your block, there's no need to go for block in your Thame, which is why the Aethem of the Dark Usurper is absolutely perfect. Alternatives for the Traveling Dead's Charm, there's not really any except for Amulet of Divine, which I don't expect you to farm for if you don't already have it and morgan the thing but morgan is just universally just worse than this so if you want to go for a tanky nova what you could do is you drop the uber rope or you could even rock dragoon and try to fit in the dragoon stat bonus somehow but i still believe that traveling deads is the best for the ring this is obviously the best ring but duelist ring will suffice you do get a little bit less health a little bit less power pip a little bit less damage and you sacrifice some heal boost but duelist is just as fine as far as the jewels go on the athame you're gonna want two polished piercing hematites six percent are the best ones you can get right now they're just so hard to farm this is where you can get six percent from and this is where you can get five percent from i personally recommend the 40 thieves and the thieves den because those are the easiest to farm if you want to get five percent because in my findings those have the highest drop rate of five percent but for six percent i would go with morganth because so many people team up anyways and she's one of the best people to drop six percent for the tier just to help one and for the triangle i would go with dual shadow blade hematite you can get these from these dual packs and also from these bosses i would recommend this boss and celestia 
because he's relatively easy to farm and he does drop every single dual blade jewel so it's just a matter of how many times you farm him for the amulet it doesn't really matter that much because you're gonna have two square slots i go with healing opal because i tend to availing but block opals and flat damage resist jewels are just as good for the ring you will want to go for another shadow pierce I actually have a 60 percent, so i managed to put that on here whatever square and whatever tier jewel that you want on the pet you can compare your stats to mine and see what you want more of i personally run dragon lance for the power pip and if it casts on your last turn of nova it's absolutely insane and then for the deck you can always run universal accuracy but i run balance accuracy because i'm a balance and i tend to use iron curse and elemental golem i use savage paw and i use availing so i kind of want to power those that's why i went for the uh, for the balance accuracy because if you see if i didn't i could only get like eight maximum and i could fizzle some so i don't want to risk that as far as the deck goes this is my main deck and this is my side deck the side deck is mainly for stalling like quakes shields triage steel wards availing shields and weaknesses as well as utility like Savage Paw for the Dark Nova and Empower if I need to get some pips up, maybe after Earthquaking. The main deck is all about buffing Nova. So I've got Dread Paladin, I've got Green Oak, I've got Mutate Sprite, and I've got Sprite. I pack Mutate Sprite in my main deck. You can pack it in your side and then try to mutate him halfway through the game, but I prefer it in my main deck. These three cards right here, these are to buff Nova. I pack one to buff Nova and one back up. That way if I pull like a Sprite and a Mutate too early, I can always discard it. The Nightbringers are also key because if you're going against somebody who like Earthquakes you, you can always Nightbringer or Hex into a Midnight Sprite and then just absolutely destroy them. As far as the stats go, the stats are pretty good. I've got almost 9k health. I'm rocking lower health because of my Thame. The damage is over 100. The resist is insanely good. The accuracy is fine because I'm rocking stuff like shift spells, which already have 100% accuracy. The only things that aren't fine are the balance spells, which is why I went for the balance accuracy jewel. And then the midnight sprite, which has a 90% accuracy. But those, I kind of just risk it for the biscuit and hopefully power. The crit's really good for a Nova, and it makes your burns do a lot too. The block's really good too, which is about 400, so you can tank most things. And the pierce. Look at that pierce. If you had full 6%, you would have 38 pierce with this setup. And also if you had infile, that would just be even more. As well as the Dark Nova gives you a pierce blade whenever it casts. The healing is also good if you need to a bailing. You heal about 500 per round. Power pip's fine for Nova. But the shadow writing is a little bit lower. And that's because of the wand. And that's what we already went over. It gives you the block, gives you the crit, gives you the insane make cast. This wand, I 100% recommend sacrificing a little bit of shad chance for these insane stats. This is what I recommend for Dark Nova. If you have any tips, tricks, questions, or comments, post those in the comments below or hit up the Discord and DM me directly. I'll be answering those as soon as I see them. And make sure to hit that like button and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.